Everyone in grade 9, will you please all stand up for a short prayer? Let us bow our heads and feel the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for this day. Guide us as we go about our schoolworks and studies. May our minds be filled with new learnings that we are about to acquire today. Help us so we will be the children you wanted us to be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, good morning, grade 9! Before you take your seats, kindly pick up the pieces of paper and arrange your chairs properly. Before we begin, I will introduce myself. I am Rand Christian S. Haggad, but you can call me Teacher Rand, and I will be your instructor in English. Miss Secretary, is there any absent today? Very good! It's good to know that you are all present today. That is why, let us all give ourselves a hooray clap. Please all stand up class. I will demonstrate it first. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hooray! Now, all together now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hooray! Thank you, class, so you may now take your seats. So, did I give you an assignment last meeting? None. Thank you for your responses. Now, let us have a recap of our previous lesson. What was our topic last meeting? Yes, Pamela? Correct! Thank you! Our topic last meeting deals with the relevance and worth of ideas, soundness of author's reasoning, and the effectiveness of the presentation. You sure did listen to our discussion last meeting. So for today, our learning competency is differentiate biases to prejudices. And for our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to first, detect bias and prejudice in the material viewed. Second, identify bias and prejudice in a statement. And third, distinguish whether the statement is bias or prejudice. To begin with, let us have our activity. This is entitled Picture Analysis. And here's the direction. Prepare a one-fourth sheet of paper and a pen, then write down your ideas, thoughts, or opinions in each picture that I will present to you. You will be given 20 seconds to write down your answers. Understood? Do you have any clarifications? So if none, here are the pictures. Time's up! For the meantime, keep your papers and later on, we will do the continuation of the activity. Is it clear? Alright! Now class, do you want to hear a story? Well then, here it is. The title of the story is The Man, the Boy, and the Donkey. One day, the man and his son walking along with their donkey going to the market. Suddenly, a countryman has passed by and said, You fools, what a donkey for but to ride upon? So the man put his son at the back of the donkey and went on their way. Soon, they have met a group of men, one of whom said, See that lazy youngster? He lets his father walk while he rides. What the man did was to ask his son to get off the donkey so he can replace himself. But they hadn't gone far, they passed two women, one of whom said to the other, Shame on that lazy lout to let his poor little son trudge along. Now the man didn't know what to do. But at last, they both hopped at the back of the donkey. Moments have passed and they finally reached the town. The passers-by began to jeer and point at them. The man stopped and asked, what they were scoffing at. The man said, Aren't you ashamed of yourself for overloading that poor donkey of yours, you and your hawking son? The father and his son went down from the donkey's back. 
They thought and thought until something popped in their minds. Till at last, they tied the donkey's feet on the pole and raised the pole and the donkey to their shoulders. That's the end of the story, the man, the boy, and the donkey. Do you understand the story? Or you have any questions or clarifications? Well, if none, let's proceed to the continuation of our activity. Once again, I will show you the pictures and what you're going to do is to list down again your ideas, thoughts, and opinions after hearing the story. 20 seconds will be given. You may now start. Time's up! So who wants to share their answers? Who among you changed their ideas or thoughts after hearing the story? Anyone? Yes, Jafer! Excellent observation! Thank you, Jafer! His idea before hearing the story is that the picture wanted to convey that the father tours his son around the town. However, when he heard the story, he realizes that the picture has a deeper meaning. Who else? Yes, Julie. Nice! Thank you, Julie. At first, she thought that people in town are yelling for the two because they were asking for food. But then, it changed when she heard the story. Now, she fully understands what the story is all about. Class, as you can see, an unfairness happened in the story. It all started when the father and his son always take the side of the people that surrounds them without being sensitive of their own feelings. This is what we called bias. So what does bias mean? Mary Ann, please read the definition. Thank you. To be considered biased means to lack in fair viewpoint on a certain topic. Somewhere along the line, bias is being taken a negative connotation. Going back to the story, the father and his son are biased of themselves because they did not consider their own reason. That is why they ended up in a chaotic situation. Understood? Okay, so who can give an example of bias? Yes, Lilet. Great answer! Thank you, Lilet. So class, she shared to us that she is biased on herself because she always takes the comment of other people without even thinking if it will be for her goodness or not. Are we clear? Then let's proceed. Lay, please read the definition of prejudice. Thank you, Lay. So, class, this feeling can be converted into action by discriminating a person or another. Moreover, it can also be in terms of race, age, gender, sexual orientation, class status, religion, nationality, and so on. So in the story, they always prejudge the father and his son without knowing the real story why they are in that situation. In addition to that, they only base their judgments from what they see. Do you understand, class? So if you really understand, who can give me an example of prejudice? Yes, Bianca! Nice answer! Thank you, Bianca! 
So according to her, one of her classmates before does not want to have a seatmate who is black. This is an example of prejudice in terms of race. Any clarifications regarding prejudice? None? Well, if none, let us have an oral recitation. The direction is you are going to identify whether it defines bias or prejudice. You will be given 5 seconds for each number to answer. Are you ready, class? So here is the question number one. Time's up. So who wants to answer? Yes, Melanie. Is that correct? Well, let's find out. Correct! Thank you, Melanie. So for the question number two? Time's up. Who wants to answer? Yes, Kenneth. Hmm. Let's find out. Excellent answer! Thank you, Kenneth! For the question number three... What is your answer, Daniel? Let's see if that's correct. Wow! Very good! Correct, Daniel! Thank you so much! So for the question number four... Time's up! Laika, what is your answer? Correct! The answer is prejudice. How about the last number? May you read an answer, Jason? Good job! Correct, Jason! Thank you and to everyone who participated. Now, let's have a recap. Who can define bias? Yes, Raphael. Great answer, correct. Thank you, Raphael. How about prejudice? Who can define prejudice? Yes, Sess. Wow, nice definition, Sess. Thank you. How about you, Lloyd? How these two differ to one another? Very good! Thank you, Lloyd. So it seems that all of you understand our lesson for today. So with that, let's do the hooray clap. Class, will you please all stand up? So let's begin. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hooray! Thank you so much. You may now take your seats. Now, Let's proceed with our activity. This activity is entitled, Judge Me. Reynaldo, please read the direction. Thank you. Class, in this activity, you will be given 30 seconds in a total to answer all the numbers. Do you have any questions before we begin? Since there is none, let's begin.
Okay, so kindly check your own paper and be honest. Here are the answers. Who got the perfect score? Wow, good job! Almost all of you got the perfect score. How about four? Okay, very good. What about three? Two? One? And zero? All right, thank you grade nine for all the responses. Please pass your paper sideward and forward. Then give it to your class president. And later on, Miss Class President, will you please bring it to the faculty? Thank you. Before we have our closing prayer, please copy the assignment. Are you done copying? Then, let's all stand up for a closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Class, before you leave, be sure to arrange your chairs and pick up all the pieces of paper and trash. Again, thank you grade 9 and God bless us all. kids and what do you want to be when you grow up? So many said, you know what Kat, I want to be a teacher. And that really did make such an impact on me because they wanted to be the change that they received. And I thought that was so magical.